three of them. Mind you, it's going to be worth on Boxing Day, a real nasty area of low pressure, zipping in to the north of Northern Ireland across central Scotland, and that's going to bring some stormy weather, I think, to many parts of the country, more particularly the west and the northwest. Now back to the present, we've got some rain in northwestern areas and some drizzly bits and pieces in other areas as well. Most of the rain will clear during the night. It's going to hold on, I think, across the southern half there, and there'll be some showers coming in with clearing skies in that northwestern corner. But because it's going to be windy, it isn't going to be a particularly cold night anywhere. Another weather system to contend with tomorrow. We hold on to the rain in the south. It begins to get its act together again in the southwest early on in the day. And then this wet weather is going to be sweeping northwards across most parts of England and Wales. Some pretty wet weather and some windy weather too. Northern Ireland and Scotland staying brighter with some sunshine and blustery showers. In fact, the only white Christmas, I think, is for the sheep on the hills there. And not many showers getting through to eastern Scotland either. A windy day just about everywhere, but fairly mild in the south. Highest temperatures there around about 10 or 11 degrees. Then, as I said, the trouble begins on Boxing Day, although we start off bright, wet and extremely windy weather coming up across most parts of the country. Some snow to begin with, again, over some of those northernmost hills. And still rain around, I think, on Sunday, although there will be some bright weather as well between and ahead of that particular area of rain. It remains for me to wish you a very happy Christmas from everybody in the Weather Centre. Looking for the secrets of happiness and eternal youth on BBC Two in five minutes? A perilous journey through stunning scenery in search of the lost city of Shangri-La. Honest to God, I never thought to see you in such a state. You must miss him dreadfully. Get him out! Get him out! You do not leave your room until Her Majesty requests it. The Queen will ride out if and when she chooses. I believe Her Majesty's wrong. If ever a poor soul needed some fresh air, it's her. Judy Dent for Friendship and Billy Connolly. <laughs> Star in the BBC Oscar-nominated film Mrs Brown. Sunday, 8.40 on BBC One. There's a new ward at Holby City. Would you insert in Mr Jordan? She's a serial swallower. Mr May would just like to take... Breathe. Well, I'm sure her father would be delighted to get that back. You smoke again, Mr. Pearson, and I will undo what I've already done. Transfer for surgery. Well, I could have made a neater incision with a lawnmower. Try not to kill any of the patients. Holby City. Anton Mayer, consultant. 12th of January on BBC One. Spice Girl, Mel C, Alan Jones, and a mystery guest with a presidential secret. Here on BBC One, it's the Frank Skinner's Christmas show at 11. Gruesomely macabre, but devilishly clever. First on BBC One, Rick Mayle guest stars in a real baffler for Jonathan Creek. <laughs>